hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel guys i'm just kind of feeling hyper and feeling myself and all of that guys sorry for the background because nepa has refused to bring the light and i don't want to turn on the generator because there might be a lot of noise and i don't want anything that will spoil this my video and i just hope that music and that tennis music i'm listening on the background isn't entering this my video at all all right guys so guys welcome back again to the channel thank you so very much guys for clicking on my video to watch and if you're seeing me my face or you have been watching me before without subscribing or you're seeing this beauty or this glow <laughs> for the very first time and you have not subscribed to my channel please do well to hit on that red subscribe button subscribe to my channel my name is vicky and i am a mommy youtuber i make videos from lagos nigeria so guys before we get right in this video let me just show you guys this beautiful customized tees that i'm putting on um as a new mom in fact though this, this my, my kids actually they're my bosses you understand so this polo was customized for me by my younger sister and in case you're interested in customizing your polo at a very affordable rate please hit me up or leave it in the comment section i'm going to link you up with her it is super super affordable i have several of these which you are going to be seeing later on in um, in my other videos so guys today's video i want to talk about omugwo like in my place we call it uman you understand i'm from akwa even still southern part of nigeria actually so i want to talk about how we actually do this omugwo of a thing in my own place you understand because i just saw a post on facebook somebody asked a certain question concerning how we acquire minds do our omugwo and i just felt like okay let me make this as a video and educating or introducing our own so you guys just know that it's not just the ebos that do the omugo we have a special way we do our ads and we they are also interrelated and similar anyway but there are certain things we do that makes us a little bit different from that of the ebos so guys i hope you enjoyed this video please before we go for that just click the like button because you're going to like what you hear so in my place we call omugwo woman do you understand it is practice it is done immediately after a woman puts to bed the an aunt the mother or the mother basically my place is the mother that goes for the omugwo or that goes for the after childbirth uh, care you understand woman's mom goes for it to take care of her daughter and all that but in some places the, the mother-in-law comes first and then the, the the girl's mom comes first. but in my place it is my mom that comes for omugwo and then she comes for the omugwo if she, if you do the the, the 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 wife or the lady that just put to bed does not have a mom then the mother-in-law can come around or and a, an auntie or a relative an elder relative that can take care of the baby and also teach the new mom how to take care of her baby especially if the mom is if the new mom is a first time mom in particular so somebody has to come to actually take care of the place so first thing first in my place if you just put to bed like <laughs> don't even think that as you're watching me now that I've, i must have done it or it's been done to me no as at this period this is my child that i just put to bed to so my mother my husband has been the one doing the omugo for me my mother has not been me feeling too good to come for omugo in my place naturally okay let me just start this way in my place normally it is the wife as in i after putting to bed i go to my parents for three months i go to my parents place and i stay for for three months not my mom coming over you understand it, it's not done like that in a private state it is the, the the, 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 the lady that put to bed that will go to the mother's place to be taken care of properly you understand so right now um you know civilization has taken over everything and then some people just felt that i cannot leave my husband's house my mom has to come so right now my mom did not come which i intend to travel to go meet her sometime during this easter period you understand just to go visit my dad it's been long i saw my dad so i want to just use the opportunity to see her so to see him rather so first thing first as somebody that just put to bed in a quiet room guys <laughs> what they will do you with hot water they will wake you up as early as as in the tradition is they can wake you up as early as five o'clock in fact if you sleep till six you're lucky do you understand they will wake you up so early and give you hot water massage hot water but as in when I mean hot water, I mean piping hot water that in fact 
I, I see it like torture, you understand? I see it like torture because, yes, it's done even in Igbo tradition, with the, which they use hot water to massage the new mom, you understand? For me, I just see that hot water procedure as torture because, guys, na bon, I bon, I no kill person. So you guys should not cook me with hot water. You guys shouldn't try it with me, you understand? So, well, that is our tradition. They use hot water to, to, to press the lady's tummy. They use hot water to press her back. They use hot water to beat her, piping hot water to press the tummy. But I feel that for that particular aspect I think some people are opting out of it because too much of hot water on the tummy makes the tummy a little bit flabby I don't know if I'm correct leave it in the comment section that if I'm correct or wrong because I'm sure this is not just done in only a Kwaibum or in Igbo tradition other tradition in Nigeria other culture in Nigeria other tribes in Nigeria use this hot water hot water something and then another thing after the hot water procedure like after you finish taking hot water, they are still going to give you hot pepper soup. That's very common in other culture or other tribes in Nigeria. Hot pepper soup. Hot pepper soup. You'll be taking hot pepper soup to aid your healing and all that. And then you will also be taking pap for breast milk. And then the one that is so spectacular or so, so particular to us or so, so, so like the one the aquariumers, people in aquarium do is they will soak gari overnight like they soak gari like um cassava flakes they soak it overnight and give you in the morning for you to sip like to drink gari you'll be sipping the gari they soaked overnight they said it eats a uh, breast milk for breast milk to come out and then for weight gain who won't gain weight see as i big already i can't gain weight out with this one of course not do you understand but for those people who actually need it that is our tradition actually that's our tradition you they do it they soak it till next day like in the night next day and then they mix it very well for you to have not seen someone taking it because i said i don't do it i don't do it don't even try it with me i don't do it you understand that tradition that we have in my place to, uh, that, that they, they, they give to somebody who just put to bed if you know someone who just put to bed in the Igbo tradition i know you use powder as they use ungu, unzu, like unzu, this um i don't know how they call it um white chalk you understand they match it inside water they soak it inside water they match it and they rub it all over you like your face your neck your body i don't know why that is you understand i don't know why they do that i can't really tell you why they actually do that that's how you can know somebody that actually had just put to bed or just had a baby in my place another thing you can know someone that has put to bed or just had a baby in my place is they they use this i don't know if that's turmeric yeah they grind turmeric they mix it i don't know how they do it i don't know if it's i can't just place my finger if it's turmeric or there's something there's a name it's not i don't think it's turmeric there's a name it's being called it's it's reddish if if i if i if i can if i if i find out the name i'm going to put it on the screen it's reddish orange in color kind of and then they use it to rub on the lady's arm and the lady's leg and then you just start walking about like that like <laughs> that you just start working that is my tradition you understand they, they rub you that red on your feet round your feet and because if you just come out you see your feet is orange in color you understand so one can just know that oh this lady just put to bed so that is my omugwa tradition in aquarium in fact it is called woman and then somebody who just put to bed is called awanu man awanu man or a cow man you understand awanu man means wife that just put to bed a cow man is a mother that just put to bed you understand so it's all the same thing and in the same category so that is my tradition in a quite state i'm just letting you guys know how unique ours can be you understand and then after the whole omugwa drama when the mother has taught you how to take care of your baby and help in other house chores in my place you don't come as a mother or, or your, my mom comes for omugwa or i went for omugwa and in fact they are being treated the people that just put to bed in my place have been treated like queens they don't even allow you lift up a pin because they feel that period of time which you just put to bed is a period where you just have to rest and regain yourself your pre-pregnancy body you understand you just have to heal up you understand so they are all treated a woman who just put to bed is treated like a queen you don't pick up a pin you're just walking you wake up they make food for you you eat they help you carry your baby when it's time to breastfeed they just give it to help you for you to breastfeed feed and then after that you sleep when the baby is sleeping if the baby is not sleeping they can help you take care of it. they just shall just treat you like you know like queen and you just keep feeling yourself but after the whole drama the whole thing another tradition we have in my place is if the wife is going back to the husband after staying in the mother's place for a move, there is a little celebration that is being done where 
the, the is like a send forth no no not like a send forth it's like a, a a ceremony where as you're going back the new dad like your husband will buy things for your mom will buy like wrapper will give her cash will buy her jewelry to match and every other you understand just vision and any other thing that is deemed fit you understand those are the things that will be given to the mom of the lady like my mom like if i had gone there to do it and even if she comes over to do it these are the things that will be given to her for her to take back to the village or to take back to her house this is just an appreciation kind of something that oh thank you for taking care of my wife or oh, thank you for coming over thank you for uh, coming to take care of my wife and the child or whatever it's been done so that's what it's been that's what happens you understand and then when the woman goes back to her house or her village or wherever she's coming from she's expected to share gift item like salt and soap to people around her own area i mean the mother of the lady that just put to bed she's expected to share all those things so these are basically the kind of traditions we have in my place concerning this omugwo or woman of a thing i don't know why omugwo is so popular the hippo has taken over and everybody just call it omugwo you understand but in my place like i said earlier we call it woman so these are the little traditions that we do in my place that enable that shows that one just put to bed so i would really love to hear other tribes is there anything different because i grew up among the Igbos and i'm more used to the Igbo tradition of this omugo of a thing so if you're from another tribe or you know of any other tribe or you're from a quiet woman there's something i did not mention please leave it in the comment section let's learn i, I didn't grow up in a quiet woman these are just the few things i know my mom told me that we do in my place in omugo because most of these things i did not do it you understand i did not do it another thing they actually do in my place is if they want to massage your child for you that's even done in everywhere in nigeria they will massage this child that you the mother will start crying that you you will shed tears like <laughs> you will shed tears because i don't even understand it's a problem that the child is even born into this kind of country and then we, we've started torturing the child from from tender age you understand so guys please leave it in the comment section how is what differentiates your tradition of omugo of after child care from other particular tribe or other other culture you understand this is what differentiates my mind we saw gary overnight we rub unzu we rub with some turmeric like kind of something to differentiate us and then at the end of the day the mother of the the lady is sent forth with gift items like i said earlier so these are just the acquired bomb tradition of omugo or woman please i would love to hear your tradition if you're watching me in diaspora or you're watching me from any other country how do you guys do your after child care like how do you take care of the new mom how is it being done to take care of the child and the new mom what do you put doing yours please leave it in the comment section i would love to hear from you and learn from you you understand and be educated and be informed about it i would love to hear from you and if you have been watching me up till this point and you have not subscribed to my channel what did i do to you please hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you will be informed whenever i post a new video and please give this video a huge thumbs up share it with your friends share it on instagram i'm going to repost it if you're following me even if you're not following me i'm going to repost it please spread the word please help my channel grow help my ministry thank you so very much guys for watching me i will see you guys in my new video and are you still admiring my my teas my teas my boss call me mom all right guys see you guys in my next video bye bye guys